Good morning. This morning, it looks like I'm having a party. I've got blowouts. I have party hats. I have candles. I have a cake mix. I have frosting. And I have wrapping paper. And it says, happy birthday. There are lots of balloons and party hats and packages on my wrapping paper. So I must be having a party. Well, when we all get back to church soon, we will have a good party because we'll all be together in our church community. But this morning, I want to talk to you about a scripture in the New Testament it is Philippians chapter 4, verses 4 through 9. But the one verse I want us to talk about for a few minutes this morning is this. It is verse 4. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. So rejoice means to bring joy, to bring happiness to have a good time, to have a party. And this scripture is written when Paul is in prison, which is far from a party. But he is encouraging his fellow Christians and new believers to the faith to have faith to rejoice. The joy is not that he is in prison, but the joy is that the Lord is in Paul's heart. And I encourage each of you, even when you get up in the mornings, you may not want to go to school, you may not want to do the activities that are planned for you that day, may not even want to eat breakfast or what they're serving. But this verse reminds us to rejoice in the Lord always, that no matter what our circumstances are, whether we don't have the right breakfast food, we're doing an activity we might not like, our toys are not as cool as our friend or sibling or neighbor, and the list could go on and on. But Paul is encouraging you and me that regardless of what is going on in our little world, that Jesus is always in our heart and your job and my job is to share the love and joy of Jesus with everybody. And that means every morning when we get up that we can say, this is the day the Lord has made. Let me rejoice. Let you rejoice. And that you and I should rejoice always when Christ is in our heart. So remember, rejoice. Rejoice because Jesus lives in our heart.